Hello, it's Tim here, and my Mountain Equipment 0550 sleeping bag arrived today. Uh, it's a ultra lightweight sleeping bag, um, and I thought you might want to have a look at it. So, um, what we've got here is a, a down sleeping bag. Down sleeping bags, um, this, I think this is um, Hungarian goose get down, um, is, is a lot lighter and um, more. War, well, better in, in a wider range of temperatures than the synthetic fibres. As you can see here, we've got 15 degrees C to 10 degrees C. Down is also quite a lot um, um, uh, what's, what's the word? Down is quite a lot, lot more compact, um, can be compacted to a better thing, and is also quite a lot lighter. So, if you see, the, this is the sleeping bag. Um, let's put it in perspective here. This is my 15 inch laptop um, and it's not really any larger than that. It's, it, w it wasn't a big deal to compress it down. Um, it just took me kind of, you know, a few minutes of just pushing it into the bag. There's no real tricks like rolling it or anything, it's just kind of stuff it in. Anyway, I think we've looked enough at the outside. As you can see it's a uh, rated from plus 15 to minus 10 which is kind of slightly more exciting UK weather so let's give it a go um, so the the sleeping the, the small sack we've got here has two two liners but um, it shouldn't be too hard to get out this is the bit where you feel incredibly dizzy whilst I bounce it out of its bag and there we go so it's not I mean it's not the nicest colour but the uh, the material that it's made out of feel, feels really really kind of warm and and just soft, comfy, um, just kind of something you want to crawl inside at the end of a long day. Uh, so how about I try and open it up and jump inside it to see whether it's as good as it sounds. I mean, you, the vial colour is a bit, of a, a bit annoying, but I guess when you're going for a sleeping bag like this, the colour of the sleeping bag isn't really the... Uh, the main thing you're choosing is uh, this kind of lime green outer, uh, I guess I can live with. Ooh, so, so if we look here we've got this kind of um, neck cover, neck kind of squishy bit that goes all the way around your neck, whilst you've then got the, the hood of the sleeping bag that you can then um, drop over your head. So that's quite neat actually and it looks like the the snuggly bit round your neck is um adjustable as well so that looks pretty neat. The uh the zip doesn't go all the way down to the to foot end so if you need to stick your feet out at the end or let a bit of air in at the end you're going to be letting it in at about the knee by the look of it but um I guess we can live with that. Anyway It's surprisingly difficult to uh, to film yourself getting into a sleeping bug, but um, I, I recommend trying it if, you've, uh, if you ever get the chance. And me being me, I never can be bothered really editing these videos. So you're now enjoying watching me getting into a sleeping bug. Ah, here we are. Of course, it's a lot easier when you have both hands and you don't have to um, hold the camera with one hand and find the zip and zip yourself in and organised feet and the like 
and the rest of the time. So I mean this is already very warm. Um, there's me, all tucked into a nice warm sleeping bag. Um, and it's very warm, soft. I just kind of feel at home, want to cuddle it all. Um, until I get a chance to check, try this on the road really, there's nothing particularly more to say. Uh, I guess the only thing that's worth mentioning is that, if we can just go down here, that Mountain Equipment um, provided this big, um, big sack for it to, so that when you, the best way to keep sleeping bags and make sure that they um, are have have the longest life is to not kind of keep them super compressed all the time but to give them time to air and um, relax when you're not using them so what they've done is kindly pro provided this wonderful mountain equipment um, kind of laundry bag almost sized bag which you can uh, keep the bag keep the sleeping bag in um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this out in the field thanks for watching